Hello everyone welcome back to the channel. Israel is facing a changing missile threat environment where speed, altitude, and maneuverability are redefining what air defense means. Hypersonic weapons, now under development or deployment by several global powers, are not science fiction, but a real strategic concern that is forcing countries like Israel to rethink how defense systems detect, track, and intercept incoming threats before they reach populated areas or critical infrastructure. Israel's approach to hypersonic missile defense does not revolve around a single revolutionary weapon, but rather a layered and evolving network of sensors, interceptors, command systems, and international partnerships. Over the past two decades, Israel has built one of the most complex and combat-tested missile defense architectures in the world, driven by its geography, its security environment, and the constant reality of missile and rocket threats from multiple directions. To understand what Israel is doing today, it is important to understand the nature of the challenge. Hypersonic missiles typically travel at speeds above Mach 5 and may maneuver unpredictably during flight. This combination reduces warning time and complicates interception. Traditional missile defense systems were designed to track ballistic trajectories that are more predictable. Hypersonic systems blur the line between ballistic and cruise missiles, creating gaps that existing defenses must now adapt to close. Israel does not publicly claim to possess a dedicated hypersonic interceptor operational today. Instead, Israeli officials and defense analysts describe an ongoing effort to upgrade existing systems and integrate new technologies that can address future threats. At the core of this effort is Israel's long-range missile defense program, particularly systems designed to operate outside the atmosphere. One of the key pillars of this architecture is the Aero Missile Defense family, developed by Israel Aerospace Industries in cooperation with the United States. The most advanced version, Aero 3, is designed to intercept long-range ballistic missiles in space before they re-enter the atmosphere. While Aero 3 was not specifically designed for hypersonic glide vehicles, its ability to engage targets at extreme altitudes and long distances is highly relevant in the evolving threat landscape. Israeli defense officials have indicated that lessons learned from Arrow, three testing and operational deployment are feeding into future interceptor concepts. These include faster response times, improved seeker technology, and better integration with early warning satellites and ground-based radars. Hypersonic defense is not about a single interception moment, but about detecting a launch early enough to create multiple engagement opportunities. Detection is one of the most critical challenges. Hypersonic missiles can fly lower than traditional ballistic missiles, making them harder to spot with conventional radar systems. Israel has invested heavily in advanced radar and sensor technology, including MALT, high-band radars capable of tracking small and fast, moving objects at long ranges. These sensors are designed to feed real-time data into centralized command systems that can rapidly assign interceptors. Another important layer of Israel's missile defense is David's sling, a media. Range system developed to counter advanced cruise missiles and tactical ballistic threats. While David's sling was not built with hypersonic targets in mind, its design philosophy reflects Israel's emphasis on flexibility and upgrade potential. Software, defined components allow algorithms to be updated as threat profiles change, a concept that is becoming increasingly important as hypersonic weapons evolve. At shorter ranges, Iron Dome remains Israel's most well-known defense system. It was designed primarily to counter rockets and artillery, not hypersonic missiles. However, Iron Dome's success illustrates Israel's broader approach, combining intelligence, rapid detection, and selective interception to protect civilian populations. The same principles are being adapted at higher altitudes and greater speeds. Israel's hypersonic defense efforts are also closely tied to its strategic relationship with the United States. Joint development, funding, and testing have allowed Israeli engineers to access technologies and data that would be difficult to develop alone. American early warning satellites, for example, significantly extend Israel's detection capabilities by identifying missile launches far beyond the region. This cooperation is not one-sided. Israel's real-world combat experience provides valuable data for you. Yes. Defense planners, particularly in understanding how systems perform under sustained operational stress. While hypersonic threats have not yet been used in the Middle East, the region's dense airspace and short distances make it a critical laboratory for missile defense concepts. The geopolitical implications of hypersonic defense are significant. Countries developing hypersonic weapons often argue that these systems are meant to bypass missile defenses and restore strategic balance. 
Israel's investment in countermeasures sends a different signal that no single technology guarantees immunity or dominance. Defense and offense continue to evolve together, shaping regional calculations. Critics of missile defense often point to cost. Interceptors can be expensive, and hypersonic weapons may be cheaper to produce in large numbers. Israeli officials acknowledge this challenge but argue that the cost of interception must be weighed against the potential damage to cities, infrastructure, and economic stability. Missile defense, in this view, is not only a military tool but a form of national resilience. There are also legal and ethical considerations. Hypersonic defense systems rely heavily on automation and rapid decision-making. Human operators remain in the loop, but the time available to assess a threat can be measured in seconds. Israel's defense doctrine emphasizes human oversight, even as artificial intelligence is increasingly used to assist in data processing and threat prioritization. Public information about Israel's hypersonic-related research is deliberately limited. This is partly due to security concerns and partly because many technologies are still in development. What is clear is that Israel views hypersonic threats as part of a broader trend toward faster, more precise, and harder to counter weapon systems. Looking ahead, Israeli analysts suggest that future missile defense will be increasingly networked. Sensors on land, sea, air, and space will share data in real time. Interceptors may be launched earlier and farther from their targets. Directed energy systems, such as high-powered lasers, are also being explored as complementary tools, though they are not yet viable against hypersonic threats. Israel's experience underscores an important reality. Hypersonic defense is not a finished product. It is a continuous process of adaptation, testing, and integration. Rather than claiming a technological breakthrough that changes warfare overnight, Israel's approach reflects incremental progress shaped by real security pressures. For the international community, Israel's work offers both technical insights and cautionary lessons. Missile defense can reduce vulnerability, but it cannot eliminate risk entirely. Strategic stability depends not only on technology, but on communication, deterrence, and political decision-making. As hypersonic weapons move from experimental programs to operational arsenals, the race between offense and defense will continue. Israel's evolving missile defense architecture shows how a small country with limited strategic depth is attempting to stay ahead of that curve, not through dramatic claims, but through sustained investment and pragmatic engineering. In the end, the story of Israel's hypersonic missile defense efforts is less about a single revolutionary system and more about a mindset. It is about preparing for threats that may not yet exist in large numbers while managing the very real dangers of today. It is about understanding that modern warfare is increasingly defined by speed, information, and the ability to adapt under pressure. If you found this analysis useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more war updates and global analysis.